Hernán Lozada, el nuevo entrenador de DC United. ¿Cómo se siente tener ese título? Se siente muy bien. Es una responsabilidad muy grande, eh, muy contento de estar acá y bueno, y con mucha energía para comenzar este, esta nueva etapa. ¿Se siente como si estuviera empezando una nueva vida? Un poco sí. Eh, nuevo país, nuevo continente, luego de 15 años en Bélgica y trabajando en Europa. Es una, un nuevo capítulo en mi vida. ¿Y por qué decidiste que este era el momento para empezar una nueva aventura? ¿Por qué no? Luego de una cierta cantidad de años, a mí me gusta poder salir de mi zona de confort y comenzar un nuevo desafío en un nuevo club, en una nueva liga, así que, ¿por qué no? You're 38 years old, so currently the youngest active head coach in MLS. You just retired three years ago, so how are you using those recent experiences as a player to help shape who you are as a coach? Yeah, I think that can be an advantage uh, because I, I know very well what the players need uh, in the dressing room, what kind of communication they need. This generation needs a lot of confidence, uh, uh, clear talk, uh, respect, but also saying the truth and giving the attention to all the players uh, as, as equal. And, and it was not a hard transition, I have to say. Also because the last years as a soccer player, I've been uh, studying and making all my courses and diplomas. So I've been thinking a little bit uh, as a coach and as a soccer player at the same time my last couple of years. DC United is, they're kind of starting a new era now. So there's lots of eyes on you as the head coach. So how are you going to manage these high expectations for you coming in as a head coach for a club that has such a rich history? I like, I like that responsibility. Um, I, I always say uh, pressure is a privilege. Uh, when, you, when you have pressure, it means that you are playing or working for something uh, and that uh, set our standards even more, even, even higher. But uh, I will use this interview also to put those standards a little bit uh, lower to tell you that uh, first season will be probably an adaptation season, uh, not only for me, but for the whole club uh, to set up my principles, my philosophy and trying to build up from that first season on towards second and third season to really go for, for better um, performances and trying to fight uh, in the playoff. You spent years really making your mark overseas. Now you're here with DC United. So what kind of mark do you hope to make here with this new club? I would love to see uh, and to hear that uh, supporters or anyone who is watching a game of DC United can tell and, and realize uh, what's, what's our philosophy and what, what, are our, what is our identity. To build up an identity that stays uh, for the years of the years uh, at DC United, even if I'm not here anymore that the team can perform and, and have an identity of, uh, uh, that has a link with the, with the fan base and with everyone who's watching a game of this United. You know, we know, we know your resume. We know where you've been, where you've played, all that kind of stuff. But what kind of person are you? What's your identity? I'm a very passionate uh, person uh, who loves what, what, uh, what he does. And I'm a guy who who gives respect and demands respect and is very, very clear in communication. Open communication, I think, is the key for success. I really love my job. Football is, is my life. Uh, I live 24-7 for, for soccer. And from now on, from DC United, uh, I hope in, in the short term I can start to get your American accent. And, <laughs> and, 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 no? Uh, and, yeah, 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 I love it. I, I, you, you know, I, I've been following so many of your series and movies.